in for both Villa and Middlesbrough here, who have just arrived. Team jackets, Alan, and ties. Yeah, yeah, brand new they are as well. What well, for this one? Ago. Well, about uh, two, three months ago they were. I don't have one mine yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to the cold. It is blowy here as well, I can tell you, this afternoon, but it's dry. Welcome back. Let's start to get serious about our match this afternoon now. Aston Villa and Middlesbrough. One or two made the trip south. And Kernigan, I think, was telling me he made it in two hours or so. I'm not sure whether he was adhering to the speed limits or not. But, uh... <laughs> After the match, the manager, Lenny Lawrence, admitted that his team was outplayed and outclassed and that they now have a struggle on their hands to keep away from the foot of the table. Villa were by far the classier team from the outset, and frankly, they could have doubled their tally. As it was, 5-1 was the rather embarrassing final score. But four days later, it was down to earth with a bump for Borough at Villa Park, where Ron Atkinson's title chasers were in rampant mood. Middlesbrough can sometimes work some fairly natty routines from corners and they have the aerial menace of course of Paul Wilkinson their leading scorer Wright takes it with the in-swinger and just past the post Wilkinson was up there and exactly as predicted really he might well have put that away let's have a look how close this was right scorer up goes Wilkinson, beats everybody, and it flashes across goal, and it just needed a touch there from John Hendry. Ooh, that really was a let off for Villa. Still, Villa looking for the breakthrough. Earl Barrett. On to Gary Parker. Oh, Parker did well there to dispossess White. And this time, the chance again for Dwight York, and what a save that was from Steve Pears. York must feel that it's never going to happen for him. Knocked in again, this time by Dean Saunders. Gittins gets it away. But it will be interesting to have a look at the replay of that. Steve Pears was a hero for Middlesbrough there. Good ball to find Dean Saunders. Holds it up, looks to see what support there is. Richardson. Now here's Staunton again. Flicked up, good ball. Parker's there. Houghton's in the middle, screaming for it. And it's gone in anyway. Gary Parker gets the goal. And Aston Villa break the deadlock. Eighth goal of the season for Gary Parker. Half an hour gone, and Villa, the longer this has gone on, have increased their stranglehold. One nil up, it could easily be three. And Pears, Saunders is in there, and the grab in the end, and it's given, the goal is given. Just listen to the noise that the Aston Villa fans are making. They've had some very healthy crowds this season, quite often above the 30,000 mark. York here, Staunton going forward. Villa getting an awful lot of room. Here's quite York, and it looks as if it hit the post. Well, inches away from a third. Here's McGrath. Saunders is in there, and Saunders hits the underside of the bar. Dwight York finishes it off, and Aston Villa go three up. Nightmare for Middlesbrough. Paul McGrath, who's now 33, and he's been voted Villa's Player of the Year three years in succession. That's what they think of him around here. His Saunders must be his goal. 4 0. 
He doesn't miss those. And Middlesbrough caught napping again by this long ball. It's missed by everybody. And who was marking Dean Saunders? Pears actually got a touch on that. Parker elects to take it short this time to Staunton. And it's another one for Villa. And Sean Teal has scored. And that really is a bit of a collector's item. Both central defenders have now scored. And Ron Atkinson is busy on the phone. Houghton. Still Villa. Parker with another beautifully struck pass. Staunton. And this could be another for Saunders, could it? And York somehow off the line by Kittens. Incredible escape for Middlesbrough. Staunton goes in alone. He's stopped by Pete. But Middlesbrough hardly know what day it is back there. And I would think even now Lenny Lawrence might be contemplating the changes he might make for the next match. There's changes there will surely have to be. Former Bra comes off. Give those dodgy knees a bit of a rest. And Neil Cox gets another chance as substitute. Scored for Villa in the FA Cup tie against Bristol Rovers. He's only 21 years of age. Scunthorpe born and bred and uh, indeed played for that club before joining Villa. Hendry, Hicknett, and that's 5-1. And at last, those loyal Middlesbrough fans have something to shout about. Nigel Spink is not happy. All goalkeepers want a clean sheet. And Villa here, for once, were just a bit sleepy. It's well pulled back, that by Hendry, and well taken by Craig Hicknett for his third Middlesbrough goal. All of them scored away from home so far. Fuller had found Villa. Oh, what a way to go top of the league, at least for today. Middlesbrough have to come to terms with the loss of their early season status. They're pinned a little too close to the relegation zone for comfort.